Hello YouTube. I am Justin and today I want to make a video putting together my new press. Let's go over the components right now because I just got the box in and I just opened it up. So let's see what we're working with here. This is Serta Flats Weld Your Own Fab Break. What it is is they send you these components and then you weld them together yourself. done it should look like this and then they don't supply the bottle jack so I got a big red 20 ton capacity stubby bottle jack um, so it has to be a stubby bottle jack you can't use a normal uh, normal full-size bottle jack and I went with big red it was 50 something dollars on Amazon but I went with it because I've been using a big red engine hoist forever like ever like maybe like 11 years um, which in terms of the earth's and time time frame, it's not that long, but 11 years for a 30 year old is long. So, nothing goes according to plan, even on sunny days. I uh, just want to pull my welder out. I'm gonna put this thing together. And my shelf collapsed. And well, that's not that bad. All my bolts, all my nuts, all my hardware, everything. These sides are now tacked where they make contact with themselves. So I'm going on to step two. Step two is we're gonna put these two on opposite sides and we're going to get our tube, our, this thing. We're gonna get our center section, which is very well done. I mean, all the CNC cuts, I mean, they're very nice. Just very nice, nicely cut. So what we do is we're gonna take the notches in the tube gonna go like that together and then they go uh, like this yeah 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 so mind you I'm, I'm putting this together with my hands you know I'm not using a hammer or anything so that, I hope that just goes to show the quality of their cuts nice are you gonna stay like that, please? You stay. Yeah, very cool, very cool. I'm gonna clamp it all together. Now the now that this is clamped together, I'm gonna make sure this these are parallel. So I'm just gonna put a square on both sides and then we are going to tack it. It shows it being tacked up here up here okay so up here in these corners these corners and that corner so all the bends one two three four tack marks five tack marks because this guy right here too So you can see we got one, two, three, four, oh shit, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I missed one right there. Yeah, let's go back and do that. Okay, guys, I got the new tack weld in there. Uh, the next step is it wants us to put it on a, on its side. And we're going to take one of these plates and one of these plates and we're going to install them. So this, the tabs for here, go on the outside like this and they, they click in. This one's a little bit bent, but you know, shipping and whatnot.
So we're supposed to tack the plates to the tube. This is the final assembly for the frame and the whole structure. Welded all inside here is all welded. With this step done, the biggest step, we are now gonna turn our attentions to the actual press part. This is our bender. This is what's actually gonna bend the material where we're gonna press down on. We are going to put in these guys. So they sit in here, these little feet, they sit in here like this, and they're gonna sit up against, they're gonna get pressed up. Ah, this is hot too, jeez. Okay. So you're going to put the springs on. That's how it's supposed to look. Now we're just going to take these and now that the slide the plates in, we put our bolts in. <laughs> 